Hello everyone and welcome back to Ultimate Fox Simulator. And we are here with Ariane and her mate who right now is named Hawk. But I think we're actually going to go ahead and change his name and I believe I can do that. So first of all we gotta switch to him. I think we do that by hitting this button. Okay, yeah, we swap foxes. So now we have Hawk, but I think we're gonna change his name here. So let's go ahead and we're actually going to name him. Here we go. We're going to name him Galahad. So why Galahad? Um, well, I was looking up names that have to do with Hawks and stuff because I really feel like Hawk is probably a nickname of his. And uh, Galahad is, I believe, Welsh for Hawk or Hero. So it's kind of that is in that, that that's bad that's bad news. Is that a bat or we're gonna swap to Arion again? We're mostly gonna be playing as Arion. Um, I think that's a bat. I think we're gonna avoid that because. The flying creatures in this can be a little bit scary. Um, but Galahad either means hawk or hero, depending on the translation. That's a wolf. Um, well then, uh, let's go this way. Come, Galahad. <laughs> and uh, that is a bat. That is very much a bat. Okay, so we, we missed it. Oh, we got it, though. We can... Oh. Okay, he picked it up. What are you, what are you doing? Oh, we have to eat this. Wait, let us eat this. There we go, that's how we can pick it up and put it back down. Okay, apparently he didn't want any. Um, I don't know why the button's still there. There goes the button. Uh, but we're gonna head off again. Uh, sometimes this game is a little bit interesting, I think. And uh, let us look around. Let's look at the map if we can. Here's the map. So there are bosses and we wanna be kinda careful, but I think these question marks that you can see on the map are actually den sites. You guys have been telling me there are den sites and I think we're gonna go ahead and try and find one today. So we go back here. Oh, we have a point too. I think we're gonna upgrade. I don't know what does what. What if we upgrade? I think we'll try with vitality first. That upgraded health, I think, and I think it upgraded attack. All right, but let's go back to the map and we're gonna head towards one of these question marks and see if we can find ourselves a den. And uh, you guys have been telling me there's lots of cool stuff in this game that we have yet to see. Is go ahead behind us, hopefully. Uh, I can't really turn the camera in this. Um, whoa, I don't know what that sound was. Uh, we should, oh yeah, we should also stop too because we can eat the mushrooms. So we wanna head in this direction. Oh, our stamina must be out. I'm gonna move this. Oh that toggle that back on okay there we go i'm gonna turn that back on and then it's really foggy out are you keeping up galahad there he is he's stuck okay oh there we go all right he's coming um but yeah so i feel like hawk is sort of an affectionate nickname he took on because his his real name is a little bit longer and uh, more grandiose where is is that the den right there possibly if we look at our map that very well could be. Let's head across and see if we can get up there and take a look. Because I think dens are important. I don't know if they heal you or not, but I think it's pretty important to have a den. And uh, if we're going to have Arya and Galahad have puppies at any point, we're going to want, or I think it's a, for a fox, I think it's called Kit. Um, but, um, but yeah, so we're going to want them to have some place to have puppies if they have that. Puppies are fox cubs. I think it's fox cubs, perhaps. I don't know. Another thing to look up. Oh yeah, so last time we had a discussion about whether or not foxes are carnivores, and if so, what sort of carnivore are they? Well, I looked that up, and it turns out that foxes are in fact carnivores, but they actually don't, their, their, their diets don't have to consist of as much meat as you might think. So a fox's diet only has to consist about, of about, that is another fox. I think we're gonna steal his prey if we can. He's not coming for us, is he? Hopefully he's running. He's coming for us. No, he's not. Is that his den? There's multiple foxes. Whoa, what? What, 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 what? I wanna eat this. There's, I think this area is taken. Is this where the den is? The den is this way. No, maybe, it's good to know there are other foxes in the area though, because I'm not sure they'd wanna settle down here if there was already a fox family in the area, because there were two of them, and it looks like that could be a pair of mates. Um, but foxes only have to have about, their their diet only has to be about 50% meat for them to be able to do well. And there's a term for it, I wanna say, 
mesocarnivores. <laughs> There's a certain term for it, and I, I went back and looked to make sure I would know what it was, and I still don't know what it is, because um, I never actually heard that term before. Oh, what is this place? This is like an abandoned cottage or something. Oh, that is not the jump key. Uh, the jump. Okay, I always forget what I set my keys to. Oh, this is this is where we are. The den is, isn't it? Oh, it's like an abandoned cottage place. Hmm. Oh, we found. I think that must mean we found a den. So I guess we've claimed this. Is this our home now? Is this showing up as our home? Yes, this is our current den. So we can switch dens once we find another one. But for now, maybe we'll stick around here. So where is... It's this right here. So she's level 6 at the moment. And Galahad is level 5. So we do want to try and level them up fairly evenly if we can. But for now, we're going to work mostly with Arion. And hopefully a Galahad will level up as well. So I'm going to leave his coat as a little bit more orange. And Arion is actually supposed to be more gray. See, from what I've seen of the different uh, color possibilities that are in this game, I think we can have more grayish looking foxes. Now, keep in mind, she is not a gray fox. There is a species called gray fox. She's still the species of a red fox. That's a raccoon. Let's try and attack this raccoon. Oh, okay. So we gotta, if we can jump on it, something came up that would let us do extra damage, I believe. This is gonna be Saurion all over again. <laughs> Um, and not if this raccoon leads us straight to a bear. That would not be good. That's... Oh, we're gonna leave him alone. Because I don't really want to mess with him. Maybe we'll deal with this guy. Here. Okay, if we can catch him. We're gonna have to slow down, though. And then there's wild boars. I'm a little bit afraid to take on wild boars, because they can be really dangerous, too. They have big, nasty tux tusks. Did they just kill... They killed the raccoon. They killed a raccoon. I don't really know that I want to mess with those guys. I kind of want the food, though. Oh. Okay, the carcass is gone. It kind of makes it a moot point. We're going to go We're gonna go elsewhere, because I don't think these two are quite feeling strong enough to tangle with a group of wild boars. However, we'll, we'll go ahead and dig. And um, see if we can find... There are beetles. Okay, can we kill the beetle? Yes, we can kill the beetle, and there's going to be another one. There we go. Oh, whoa! What is hitting me? What is hitting me? Is it this guy? It's this guy. Why is this guy so hard to hit? Why? He's hardly doing any damage. There we go. I don't know why he... <laughs> like, we couldn't hit him for some reason, probably because he's so small. Um, but anyway, what was I saying before I got interrupted by wild boars? Um, what? Who barked? Who barked and why? Do we hit? Do we hit? The bark? I don't know. I think he might have just randomly barked at us. Okay then. That, that's, that's fine. Alright. It always scares me when the animals start making noise because I feel like there's a certain reason for it. But perhaps sometimes there's not. That is an alligator. Or... Is it an alligator or a crocodile? I think it's looking more alligator. We're gonna eat, though. Oh, Galahad, don't get too close. Don't get too close, Galahad. We're gonna... No, let's go this way. Um, oh, yeah, I was talking about Ariane's coloration. So if you guys have seen the thumbnail art, that is what I'm hoping we'll be able to get... Okay, I think he's just walking. That is what I'm hoping we'll be able to get Arion to look like, at least something like that. Now, that's based off some, um, uh, because foxes can actually have a variety of coat colors, and if you look at domesticated foxes and foxes that are being bred in captivity, there are even more. There's a whole heap of, uh, foxes that, a whole heap of fox potential colorations that are possible, but a lot of them aren't seen in the wild. So, like, captive foxes can uh, have so many more coat colorations. And uh, blue eyes tend to be more common in captive foxes, but I couldn't really find any research on whether they do exist in the wild. So Arion, technically, I did draw her with blue eyes, but um, that's not necessarily, like you might not find that. I think this is a bat. We're gonna go after the bat because we did okay with that last time. There we go, that's not too hard. Um, 
but you're going to see, um, I, I don't know if you'll be able to see those in the wild. Okay, there we go. Now we can eat it. For some reason, we have to pick them up before we can eat them. <laughs> um, but I don't know if you, how much of that you would see in the wild, but those coat colorations are, the coat coloration is fairly similar to things you could run across in the wild. However, most foxes look like Galahad and like Arion does right now. They're much more red in coloration, and they have your classic, what you th tend to think of when you uh, look at, when you think of a fox. Now, don't confuse the fact that Arion is a gray-red fox with the, the species of the gray fox, because there are gray foxes as a species, and that's, that's totally different. So uh, do not confuse those things. Ariane is still a red fox by species. <laughs> it's a little bit complicated, I know, um, and I'm not doing a very good job of explaining things, I'm afraid. What is this? What is this? This is a plant. Uh, but yeah, red foxes can actually have, or at least I think it said foxes in general, um, but they can actually eat up to 50% um, of like berries and stuff and other um, other non-meat materials. Uh, they can actually survive on that and do pretty well on it. Uh, they only need their diet to consist of about 50% uh, meat to be able to survive, which is pretty interesting because uh, that's a fairly low percentage for a carnivore. It's not quite as low as bears because bears are basically considered omnivores because they don't have to even have that much meat in their diet to be able to survive. Um, that's a skunk. <laughs> that's a skunk. And it looks like pretty easy prey. I think I think um, Ariane would uh, risk being sprayed to go running after this skunk, and uh, to hopefully catch an easy meal if she can. It's a little bit fast though. We got to Oop! Do we get it? We missed it. We missed it. We missed it. Oh! Oh! Ow! It hurts. It does hurt. Can we still? Okay. For some reason, it's making us pick these things up before we eat them. There we go. Now we can eat them. I don't really know why it's doing that. And we do have night vision at this point because it's dark if we need to turn that on. And then they kind of just fall through the map. <laughs> Let's see, there's another another skunk that we can chase down. And again, keep in mind that this is a game. So normally I don't think, first of all, foxes probably would spend less time successfully hunting and um, more time unsuccessfully hunting than we are right here. Ow, that one's actually doing some damage. Galahad, you're not helping me at all. <laughs> I don't know that I like that. You're, you kind of seem a little bit lazy. Um, can we put that back down so that we can eat it, please? Thank you. <laughs> um, but they probably would spend more of their time unsuccessfully hunting and foraging and not winning so much of the time as we are here and uh, secondly, they probably wouldn't need to hunt so much, and hunting would probably take longer. So, but here we have to uh, hunt to level up, and uh, so we're going to be doing a lot more hunting, fighting, and killing than foxes probably would in the wild. <laughs> uh, so do keep that in mind. This is not necessarily an accurate interpretation of reality, and no game is going to be perfect in that. Even Wolf Quest is not fully realistic, and that does make a, a pretty strong point of trying to be realistic. Can we... are we able to... I keep wanting to press spacebar to jump, but I forgot that I switched the button because it worked better. Oh, we got it! There we go. That worked. Okay. Galahad is here, but I think I saw something else coming in the distance. No, I just saw another bat moving. Okay, we should be able to... hopefully? Nope. No? No? What is this? Okay, oh, we can target it. There we go. Oh, we leveled up again. So, is Galahad actually leveling up? No, he's not. Okay, so he'll come running over and picking it up. Um, I mean, he might not be the, the smartest NPC, but I think he's got a good heart. He, he means well. He's just perhaps a little bit, uh, a little bit clumsy and maybe a little bit uh, oblivious to it. Um, that's a horse. What? I don't know why... What's the barking about? Are we able to get through this gap in the fence? Can we squeeze through here? No, we can't. We would have to jump it. I don't know that I want to mess with a horse, though. That's kind of large prey for any fox. There is a wild boar, though. How strong is Arion now? She's up to level 7. 
Is she, what does it say, prey? Is that like her rank? She's still considered prey? She's not considered a full-on predator yet or something? I don't know. Um, we shall have to see. But yeah, eventually the foxes in this can get really strong to the point of taking on uh, animals they should by no means be able to fight in real life. Galahad, where are you? Um, where have you gone? I don't know where he went. I do not know where he went. I am slightly afraid. Where did he go? I'm gonna switch to him. Where is he? Okay. So there's Arion, who came back and found him. Okay. I don't know. He kinda, there he is. Okay. We should be good. Hopefully that's okay. I would think. Oh, we can eat these berries, which we should do that. Because every time we eat something, we get experience. It might not be a lot sometimes, but we do get experience. And uh, we should always make sure to do some uh, of the bonding. Oh, we have to hold it to date. That's right. The, okay, I'm not even thinking clearly. What was that? That was mice. That was mice. I want this mouse, but I think it might be too fast for us. Are we able to catch it? Yes, we got it! Mice or rats or something that we just dug up there. Let's... Can we drop it? Can we eat it? How do we put it down? How do we put it down? I am concerned. There we go. Okay. Apparently that worked. Oh! <laughs> Zoom! <laughs> wow. This game is kind of a... Sometimes it's kind of, um, I don't know. What? Oh! Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Um, 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 oh he's helping us now! He is helping us now! Oh gosh! This was not ex what I expected. Oh, they did it! Um, wow! Okay then. Wow! Galahad! Thank you! I think we're gonna- Okay, that was not what I meant to do. Um, I meant- I meant to- which one is Nuzzle? Which one is Nuzzle? Come here! We can wrestle! That's sort of- sort of like it. <laughs> Um, is there one that lets you nuzzle? There we go, we can snuggle with him. Because he just basically saved our life. He ran in and distracted this wild boar that came after us. Oh, wow. Okay, sometimes this game is, is honestly pretty... It can either be really random or really cool. What? Was that just... That was just the bushes we ran through, I think. So it can go either way, and that's what I love about it, is it it really has its own distinct flavor, and it can be it can be kind of goofy sometimes, but then it can also be really awesome sometimes. That is a wolf. I don't think we want to get involved with that wolf. I think we want to go this way. Uh, let's come over here and dig, if we can. And hopefully, hopefully that wolf will mind his business if we mind ours. <laughs> there we go. Can I uh, eat this? And then this beetle is going to come after us, too. So hopefully we can go ahead and eat these. So maybe, um, maybe the other, okay, oh, no, suddenly Galahad. <laughs> um, suddenly Galahad. Uh, is he leveling up yet? Does he have, if we switch to him? He is gaining experience. He's just doing it a lot slower than Arion is. Okay. So that is good to know. We're going to continue playing as Arion for now, but we probably will make sure that we keep leveling him up as well. And, uh, uh-oh. Oh, oh, okay, it just got a little bit stuck for a moment. Did anything actually come out of there? I don't think so. Um, but this text is now stuck on the screen. Okay, can we switch? There we go. We're getting there. <laughs> We're getting there. Sometimes we just have to switch back and forth for things to work. Oh, and Aryan found a mushroom in the little time that we were playing as Galahad there. Sometimes you just have to switch back and forth. All right, there we are. And uh, let's see if we can find anything else to hunt down. It is night time, so we might want to turn on our night vision. We spend a lot of time eating mushrooms, it seems. Um, and uh, that seems to be working out for us pretty well. And uh, once more, suddenly Galahad. Are we able to... Do we have any? We do have a point. Okay. What is dexterity up? That ups your speed. I think we might want to up that, but it does it so slowly. That's kind of irritating. Alright, are we able to know that that squirrel is long gone? Um, 
but we do want to keep boosting our speed. So maybe there's something better that will boost the uh, the speed set as well. Yeah, even more so than um than the dexterity did. <laughs> oh, there is one of the beetles. And wherever there goes the squirrel again, there's gonna be another beetle coming from somewhere. Unless we have to dig it up. Did that do anything? Okay, here we can eat. So maybe there wasn't. Oh, <laughs> Galahad, I don't know how you're doing that, but it scares me a little bit sometimes. He just appears suddenly from nowhere. All right, maybe we can get the squirrel this time. If we're fast enough, this is a pretty stinking fast squirrel, but we might be able to do it. I think we may be able to do it. Do we get it? Not quite. There we go. We got it. Yes, we actually got it. That's the first time we've managed to catch a squirrel in this. And then I saw a mushroom somewhere back here. Maybe it was by this tree. Yep, it's by this tree. So we'll go ahead and eat that as well. And uh, let us make sure we stop to eat. That's a good way of getting the squirrel out of our mouth, too, because I'm not actually sure how we go about that. Um, Galahad, why are you hurt? What happened? Why are you hurt? I don't know why he's hurt. I don't know why he's not healing either. Whoa, where'd Arion go? She just ran this way. Didn't she? I don't know. Arion! Arion's hurt too now! What happened? What is happening here? Maybe it's a visual glitch. Or is something back there attacking? They teleport all over the place sometimes. I don't know what's going on. That's moose. We try to eat, are we gonna be in trouble? Yes. Let's not. Let's not. Thankfully he's stuck on a carcass. Galahad, where are you? What if we... That didn't actually do anything, did it? The sounds aren't playing right for some reason. Is this food? Is this food? No, I think we ate the food off that already. This is where we already were. Is that? No, that's mushrooms. For a sec, I thought we found Galahad. Is he being chased by a moose? Is that what's going on here? We're gonna eat that. I don't know where he's going. Maybe we'll see him run off? I don't actually know. Is it because we're thirsty, maybe? Our uh, health is not regening like it should be? If we weren't, maybe that's it. Uh, maybe we should try and find our way to some water here. Oh, we leveled up again, too. So are we level 11 now? We're level 8. I thought I saw level 11 somewhere. I was like, what? <laughs> um, but, oh, yeah, we actually need to go there. Let's take a look at where the nearest water is. I think it's down this way. What? I don't know what that was. We're going to run this way, though, and uh, try and find some water, and then I think we'll go ahead and uh, potentially wrap up the episode. So, uh, oh, there's deer. I don't know that we're quite strong enough to take on a deer yet, though, but mushrooms, mushrooms are a good source of food. Uh, definitely a good source of food. Ooh, suddenly Galahad. <laughs> How many times is this going to happen, Galahad? How many times are you going to teleport slash speed run to us? <laughs> I think this may be an ongoing thing. I mean, he is like a hawk suddenly swooping out of nowhere at us. Is that? That's the alligator we saw earlier. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a drink here. And um, make sure that our, uh, our water is up. And then... I don't know where Galahad went. But we'll probably eat these mushrooms. And then uh, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here for what is going on over there yeah we'll go ahead and uh, wrap up the episode here for today so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the episode and i will see you guys next time but until then this is jay over and out